Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a follow-up video of my Fenger FD-186K, which I did about six months ago. I'd never airbrushed before, but I'm going to show you um, how I did airbrush it. And I did get a few inquiries uh, via Insta. Now, uh, a few of my subscribers wanted to know what PSI I was using, what paint did I use, and a bit more information regarding it. So, uh, the paint I used was the Createx. Now, that cost me eight ninety five, and it was it's quite a good paint, and uh, it's good value for money. You do get smaller uh, paints, which are very very expensive. I'll put the information down at the bottom of the screen. Now, I didn't use a lot of green on this, and I used a bit of grey as well. The PSI was around 25 and with the green paint I put a few drops of my homemade thinner in there as well and that seemed to be okay. My first layers were very very runny so just ensure that you don't put too much thinner in there and also I was using my own homemade thinner as well. You can buy the branded thinners but they tend to be a bit more expensive. Now my own homemade thinners cost me that two pounds to make. So you'll see a video up there regarding thinners, how to make them yourself. With this airbrush, you will need a solid table. Now, I got so much vibration because the compressor was just vibrating all the time. Now, if you're going to be doing delicate models or you need to be super accurate, then the table is going to need to be solid. I've got to admit that this airbrush made things so much more simpler and easier. And the actual finish that you do get you don't get any lines from your brushes or brush marks, which really gives you a really smooth professional finish. When you are airbrushing and you are mixing your paint, put a few drops in, maybe one drop in some cases if it's too thin, and use a little brush to mix, mix all the paint in as well, and then you're ready to go. I did in total about four layers and the fifth layer was where I got a darker green to kind of go in the little creases in his head to get a little bit more definition and towards the end I used a paintbrush to get the eyes right and uh, a little bit of black or grey for the eyes. Anyhow that's all for now, thank you very much for watching the video, uh, please like and subscribe and share and I will be doing more airbrushing videos and I will be testing another compressor which is a lot smaller and a lot cheaper as well. Until next time, take care and above there you'll see the video which goes in more detail regarding the actual airbrush but I did everything else in fast forward when I was printing this bit so bye bye.